They don't love us, no they don't love us. They don't love us, no they don't love us. They don't love us, no they don't love us. They don't love us. Somebody tell them, wake up, wake up, wake up. Somebody tell them, wake up, wake up, wake up. Somebody tell them, wake up. Uh, what does the Bible say about racism? It's on like a three-minute video. Watch, we're gonna show you a uh, uh, we're gonna show you crafty counsel and how they cut you off. Or they try to cut you off from being a people Today and lull you to sleep. Watch this. Play that. Today's question is: what does the Bible say about racism? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources. So stick around until the end. The first thing to understand in this discussion is that there is only one race. Paul. The human race. See, he already what? pissed me off from the start. Dang. Hey, America! Dang, I can't hey, take it, man. America! All that we just went over, I play this, not a boy. Go ahead. Uh, Dang. Dang, go ahead. Caucasians, Africans, Asians, Indians, Arabs, and Jews are not different races. Rather, they are different ethnicities of the human race. All human beings. Pause, have I, I can't take it. Pause. I can't take it. I can't take it. Give me, give me Sirach 2619. I can't take it. Y'all jump in. I'm sorry. I can't take it. It's only three minutes, but I can't take it, man. <laughs> I can't sit here and just let them lie after we done brought out all them scripts. Because it's a Christian online right now that we done brought all that. They like, yeah. <laughs> then that's so called. Damn, he right. There's only one race. Yeah, that's right, brother. One race. Like, God. <laughs> Lull them back to sleep, man. Right. It's the Rock 26, verse 19. The Book of Sirach. We got to call I'm sorry. We got to call We're going to let him in. Hold on. Hold. Just wait on me, call Just give me a minute. With his smooth words. Right. <laughs> right. Give me Sirach 26, 19. The Book of Sirach. Hold on, call We're going to answer you. Just one second. Read. The Book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 19. Yeah. My son, keep the flower of thine age sound mm. and give not thy strength to strangers. We're going to tell you what that's talking about. Read. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession. That fruitful possession is the black woman. Or the Israelite woman, Hispanic woman, Native Indian, all these different names they've given us to try to contextualize us and put us in a certain category. We're talking about Israelite women. That's she is right. that possession. She's that fruitful possession. Yes, read. Through all sir. the field. All the field is all the other nations. Read. Sow it with thine own seed. The field is the world and all these different seeds are the other nations. So he says, sow it with your own seed. Go ahead. Trusting. And the goodness of thy stock. Wait a minute. Didn't we read stock as, an, as a, a synonym for ancestry and race and genealogy earlier? Mm -hmm. Stock. Read. So thy race. So what? Thy race. Wait a minute. I thought we was one race. We read right here in the Bible where the Lord says, get with your woman, stay with the women of your nation so that your stock or your race. Read. So thy race. Which thou leavest shall be magnified. So that our race can be magnified. That's right. Read. Having the confidence of their good descent. And having a descent. Isn't that another word? That was another, that was another one right, of the right. synonyms for genealogy. Descendants. The descendants. It said right here. It says that having the confidence of their good descent. So now my children can say, I know I come from Israel. Right. I know I'm an Israelite. I, but see, what happened is. We mixed amongst races throughout slavery and things like that. So now we got to go by the spirit. We're like, okay, I know this happened to my people. My people was in the civil rights movement. My people came on slave ships. That's how I know. But at one time, we were like, man, look, I don't know nothing about no race, man. I just know they called me African-American. Oh, so you want to know what's crazy about this? What's that? I Esau can read that. Yeah. And he can say, you know what? I don't want little Marianne to sleep with Raheem because... This is going to wipe out my race. Right. He understands that, but our people, I don't I don't get it. Why can't we be with them? Bro, I'm so glad you said that. Pull up the Ku Klux Klan thing. <laughs> I was going to try to finish the other video, but I can't take it. <laughs> he going to make me mad. Read Ku Klux Klan. Show the Ku Klux Oh, we got to call it. Damn. My head there well. <laughs> call it. Come, <laughs> come on in, call Let the call in. Hey, Shalom, call You on with Escaping the Plantation 2.0. Who we speaking with? What's your name and your comment? 
King Simeon. Hey, hey, uh, Officer, uh, good luck. You you cooking with fire again, man. Uh, all praise. <laughs> Shalom. Most high Christ. All praise from most high. Yes, sir. Um, hey, hey, just like PK would say, it's confusion. Right, right. PK, good <laughs> it's man. It's confusion. Right. <laughs> you know, um, it, it, uh, I think I think we should we we gotta do a, 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 a like a, a a big list of of things that Esau has done against our people for them to even wake up. They're not. They, it don't matter how many times we show them how many things they did to our people. They don't care. Right. You know, I, I was arguing with one of my cousins the other day. I, Get about it. He's done. He's done. I told him, "Look, I got one more scripture for you, and and, and, and you're done. Right? Like, like that, it, it's quiet for you. That's it. So, hey, just keep doing the work. I, I appreciate you. We all do appreciate you. But, I, hey, I, I office. I think I think one more video uh, would would be nice if if you can. Uh, don't be in Benson South Central when uh when is a hurry up and buy. Cause I, right. I, I heard y'all talking about that. Right, right. right. Shalom, Most High Christ bless. Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ bless. All praise to the Most High. Yes, hey, let's pull up the next video real quick. All praises. Thanks. Oh, hurry up and bye. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to PK Goodman. They they love P, they love PK Goodman. You don't know what that is. You're an Android user. You don't know about that. That's an iPhone thing, brother. Bro, I was just messing with you. Come on, play that video. <laughs> Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah. Oh, bro, what are you come talking on, about, man? man? Come on, man. Can we get to the point, man? Go ahead, Welcome man. Welcome all viewers. Today I wanted to talk about an interview with a Ku Klux Klan member. This was posted a couple months back, and basically this YouTube channel is just giving a member of the KKK an opportunity to share his worldview. Now, where do you think a member of the KKK gets their worldview? What would you guess? What would you think? Well, I found this interview interesting because he claims that the KKK get their ideology from the Bible. What? In fact, he claims that people who don't have the same ideology as the KKK are misunderstanding and misrepresenting the Bible. Mm. So before sharing my thoughts, I actually wanted to play some clips from the interview so you can see exactly what I'm referring to. And everything in the Bible is basically the same thing the Klan, Klan was talking about, the Klan was telling you. You know, race mitts is wrong, homosexuality is wrong, but all oh, 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 oh. We don't go past that. Go back to the Wait a minute. Yep. Wait wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I want you to cut it up so they can hear it. Go back ten seconds. I wanna hear what he said again. Play that. Then everything in the Bible is basically the same thing the clan clan was talking about, the clan was telling you. You know, race mitts is wrong, homosexuality is wrong, but all this is in the Bible. And that's one thing I liked about the Klan is they were showing me where to find it at in the Bible. And, I, you know, I've been to a lot of churches, and most of the churches are 501c3 churches. They're owned by the government, ran by the government. They're told what to preach. So a lot of the verses they were showing me in the King James Version of the Bible was verses I've never seen or heard. So it shocked me, and I found it very knowledgeable. So I kept going to the rallies, and I kept reading the Bible, and then wind up becoming a member of the Ku Klux Klan. In 1997, and I think by the summer, by the, yeah, by the time summer was over, I was a full-blown member of the KKK, and I don't regret a bit of it. I mean, I, I've loved the Klan, and I always love the Klan, and do whatever I can to help it grow. Now, so when this man was first, pause it. So we always have to let people know at the beginning we're not a hate group. We don't believe in violence. Ku Klux, Ku Klux Klan has been known for violence towards the Israelites. The Israelites don't, we, we, we don't teach retaliation in that way at all. We teach keep God's commandments, change your mindset, or repent in the faith in Christ, and the Lord going to fight for us. Right. So we are not in any way, shape, or form saying we agree with anything that he says as far as violence is concerned. But he did mention that in the Bible it says homosexuality is wrong. He's correct. Mixing of races is wrong. That's that's exactly what scriptures say. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. We can show you passages in the Bible where it tells. We just read it in Sirach 26. To not sow our seed with a, a, a stranger or one of another nation. But it's something he says about loving your neighbor. Fast forward a little bit. Fast forward. Um, I want to see. Let me see. Because it's towards the end. I think it was towards like six minutes or something. Keep going. Go right there, right there. Go back, right, right, right. Right there. Christian organization. We read the same Bible everybody else does. We just actually read all the Bible instead of skip through like these uh, Judeo-Christian preachers do today. What are the aspects of Christianity that the Klan is based on? 
Well, it's based on the whole, our ritual, the clan ritual, like when you get naturalized, or which naturalization ceremony is a clan ceremony. We use the Bible to swear you in and to become a full-fledged member of the clan. Mm. So, I mean, we want to stick by the laws of God. Whoa. And, you know, you ain't going to make it to the kingdom of heaven unless you stick by the laws of God. Pause. So, Will somebody tell a black Christian that? Damn. They don't understand that. He, he 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 don't keep no law, <laughs> right? But he understand that though. But he understand that. The, you know what I'm saying? Come right. on, man, play it, man. <laughs> the hell is this? One thing we try to teach in our family, you know, this was taught 30, 40 years ago. I remember, you know, you wouldn't see colored people mixing and going into a church 30 years ago, not in this state. And now the preachers are allowing it, and uh, to me, it's sickening. And it's sickening to see these preachers sell out their congregations and damn their own congregation straight to hell by pushing all this equality nonsense, knowing that the Bible says all the races should be separate, and that when Christ comes back, he says he shall separate all races again, separate all people by their tongues, and put them in their own nations. That's in Matthew 15. So, I mean, 25, me, the okay. Bible, and the Klan go hand in hand. So not only does he believe the KKK follow the Bible, but he believes that other people who don't share their same ideology are picking and choosing the Bible. They're not actually taking into consideration the Bible as a whole. And he is saying that people who are doing this racial mixing, they're actually not living by the law of God. And that preachers are actually damning their congregations to hell because they are not living by what he believes is the true teachings of God, the true teachings of the Bible, the true law. And he thinks that this is what is going to actually lead people to the kingdom of heaven. And what, what you guys have problems, you know, you want to stay separate from African Americans, Mexicans, Jews, we all right with that. Arabs, Chinese, it don't matter. I won't, I would love to see a white homeland established one day. And, and gay community as well? The what? Gay, gay, the gay community as well? They're abomination. Gay people are supposed to be put to death upon sight, and that's in Romans 11. It's also in Leviticus 20, uh, 2013. Homosexuals are supposed to be put to death upon sight. So what is he basing these laws off of? See, the Bible. Pause it. That's why he, that's why these folks don't be having no understanding. Like right. we understand the New Testament, we understand all that. We don't believe homosexuals should be put to death. We don't believe that at all. But what you about to say, Austin? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't gonna say that. Go ahead and play it real quick, man. I get to the point. I want to get to the point. I think What's this the most is important next. Thing? I think it's next. Play with it. Thing you've play, learned play. in your life. To never turn my back on God, He'll always be there for me. Whoa. And like I said, the Klan's a religious movement. When I was younger, I really wasn't into religion. But, and I see there's a whole new generation coming up that are basically atheists. And I feel sorry for them, so I try to reach out to people about the Bible and the goodness of the Bible. And, you know, God's there for everybody who's there willing to listen. So he wants to reach out to people, and he feels like he will save people, essentially, if coming up following next. this ideology of how he interprets the Bible is what leads one to the kingdom of heaven. He feels like he'll be saving people by inviting them to this way of life. And as you can see, the foundation of his beliefs as a member of the KKK, his philosophy, his worldview, he's basing it on the Bible. And I think we should cut all foreign aid to Israel. Or Israel. He said cut all foreign aid to Israel. Around here because that's all it is. It's a nation that was stolen from the Palestinian people. Ah, pause it. Right. Pause <laughs> it. Pause it. Pause it. See? <laughs> One thing about the racist Edomite down here in the South, he going to tell you the truth how he feel about you. Right. But he That's says some right. fact. Right. He said, hey, the people in Israel today is not the Jew. They stole them from Palestine. We need to cut off aid to them. They're not the true Jews. But watch how he fall off the horse. Play that. Do it. If anybody has a birthright to Israel, it would be the chosen people, the white race. Paul, the Hell no. Take him down. No, sir. <laughs> he, he was speaking truth for yeah. a second, but he then he had to lie. He saw all the guy. He had to lie at the end. Yeah. Ten lies and one truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He saw all we got to fall off the damn horse. I said, oh, Y'all skip my language. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Hey, man, listen. Hey, give, give me Deuteronomy 2. I mean, Daniel 244, man. So, oh, man. it was a part in that we missed. I think we skipped over it. I forgot where it was. It was, it was in between the two parts we skipped to where he says the reason he joined the Klan and the reason he felt like the white race should be separate it's because of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18, where it says, love your neighbor as yourself of thy people. He put an emphasis on it. He says, see, it says of thy people. That's why I love my people and my race. What's wrong with me loving my race? 
And we like the same. We like we trying to love our race. We trying to get our race right. Our race is the one that's out here destroyed. Right. We the ones out here getting murdered and killed and drugged in the game banging, but mass when incarcerated. We do it is wrong though. Right. Wrong when we us. do it is wrong. Right, but we now we don't agree with the clan's violence and the evil that they're doing. We're not comparing ourselves to them at all. But what we're showing you that in the Bible, the scriptures that they try to use to justify why they separate themselves is what God gave the Israelites for separating themselves. Right. It's the same exact thing, right? Daniel two forty four though. The book of Daniel chapter two and verse forty four. And in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. Which shall never be destroyed. This kingdom shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. The, the kingdom shall not be left to other races. That's what that means, other people. Other bloodlines, other nationalities. It's only for Israel. Read. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. And this kingdom not going to fall like the kingdoms before it. It's going to stand forever. Right. You understand that? Chapter 7, verse 19. Verse 22, excuse me. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 22. Start at, uh, just read 18. Just get to the point. Verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever. Read it again. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Wow. Forever mm. and ever, the saints going to possess the kingdom. Now, my question for the, for, for, for the black Christians, right, that are watching online, that may want to come into the truth, who are the saints? Where can I read about the saints to get eye? Because God not going to use a word in the scripture and just leave you dumb. Like, okay, I guess that's everybody because God didn't give me a clear definition. No, God right. gave you a clear definition. You know what that's I That's right. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 148 and verse 14. Read he also exalted the horn of his people. Read. The praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. Whoa. That's a race. Now, mm. Jake going to hear that and say, nah, that, that's that ain't what they're talking about. <laughs> that, that's, you know, because we all spirits of Israel. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's when you hang up the phone. I'm off. I'm off. We're from, 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 from children of Israel <laughs> right. to spiritual Israel. Right. Can I get something on yeah, that? Yeah, go ahead. Go Let ahead. me get Nehemiah 9 and verse 2. Bring it out. It make it a. It can't get no more simple than children of Israel. Right, right. So they let's let, let's see though. <laughs> let's see what the most I say. <laughs> Read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter nine and verse two. Yeah. And the seed of Israel. The what? The seed of Israel. And the sperm of Israel. Uh oh. Separated themselves. They did what? Separated themselves from who? From all strangers. From all the other wow. nations. That's what we had to do in these last days. That's why we read we had to gather ourselves together. Read it one more time. Bring it up. And the seed of Israel uh -huh. separated themselves from all strangers. From all the other races, all the other heathen. Read on. And stood and confessed their sins. Mm. Their sins. Read. And the iniquities of their fathers. Of Ew. their fathers. <laughs> Read, finish that out. Damn. That's it. I'll praise. I'll praise. That's Bro, that's out. a cut. <laughs> Can I get one off? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give that's me, a cut. Give me that in Psalms 50 and 5. Wow. Because again, the Negro uh, skip all those precepts we gave him. And still say, nah, that don't mean that. That ain't what they mean, huh? That's why the most high God had to be redundant and say, look, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. So if you still reject it, you just, something wrong. Read that. Right. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Gather my saints together unto me. Gather my saints together unto me. Read. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Those who've made a covenant with me. So, I guess he made a covenant with everybody. No. Hell no. <laughs> no. Right. Those are the saints. No All praise right. offs. Hey, go back to the other video I got mad and cut off. I'm going to give him another chance. Because <laughs> I did want to deal with some things he said. Pull it up for us. Yeah, yeah. Physical characteristics with minor variations, of course. More importantly, all human beings are equally created in the image and likeness of God. Genesis what? chapter 1, verses 26 Whoa. through 27. See, pa see? Ah. God, pause it, bro. I can't take this dude. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Black. Right. With woolly hair. This That's dude ain't right. with woolly hair, man. 
he's melanin has been stripped from him. He does not have woolly hair. This is, this is a different race of people. This is Esau. We were, a uh, vagabond. Vagabond. <laughs> what he's saying is, what he's really trying to say is that the white man was the first. That's right, what he's right, really right. trying to say. And we all descend from him. But we know, even through their science, white can't make black. Right. They right. are a recessive gene. That's why they come up with evolution. That's it. Uh, we all came since y'all can't come from us. We all came from monkeys. Right, right, right. <laughs> we, it was a big bang theory. Two planets collide, and we came from tadpoles out the out the uh, out the ocean. <laughs> what? Because they know that we can't come from them. Right. So to, to to make you to trick the Negro, they'll say yeah 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 evolution yeah evolution evolution con I don't con just don't speak con, Hebrew. Con, con. Right. <laughs> Go ahead and play it, man. Adam made from the dust of the ground. You don't look like dirt. So much that he sent Jesus to lay down his life for us. John chapter 3, verse 16. Oh. The world obviously includes all ethnic groups. Oh. God does not show partiality or favoritism. Acts chapter 10, verse 34. And neither should we. James chapter 2, verse 4 describes those who discriminate as Paul, can't judges. Take, Paul, with can't take, mm. It's eating at me. I can't just let him run past scriptures and leave my people out there. <laughs> Give me Acts 10, verse 28. He read Acts 10, 34. Let's read 34 first, then go to verse 28. Let me show you what it's talking about. They get on my nerves. <laughs> read 34 first. The scripture he quoted. Yes, sir. The so of, wrongly. Go ahead. The book of Acts, chapter 10 and verse 34. Bro. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive. That God is no respecter of person. So his mind, he going to say, oh, God ain't no respecter of person. He's not partial. He loves everyone. Let's put that behind us. Love all nations. But it's very convenient as he sits behind his computer in his very nice studio or house that he got with his loan right. that was denied to black people that he was able to receive from a government or from a, 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 a nation that his ancestors stole from another nation and put that nation on reservations and that he brought another nation over to work for him for free so they can have the loan power in their banks to give him the loan to sit in front of the computer he's sitting in front of to now tell us God is not partial. Right. Yo, That's how you got to break it down to a scripture. Right. Yo, God, you got, you got, is you got, right. partial. You right. Just like, that, huh? just, just like they say. So they took the land from the Native Americans. Right. They brought the so-called blacks over here to build it. Right. And they get the so-called Hispanics to maintain it. That's right. Right. That's, 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 that's the 12 trial right there. Can I get one real quick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to finish where we at. We got to finish where we at. Uh, read verse 34 again. Verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. God is not a respecter mm. of persons. So they're going to use that to try to say, Oh, God is not partial. Let's read verse 28. Verse 28. And he said unto them, Ye know how that is, it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. Pause it. How is it unlawful? Unlawful according to what? What is it unlawful according to? Because Peter wasn't speaking things that God had not told them in the first place. It wasn't like Peter walked with Christ. So it wasn't like he was saying, hey, it's unlawful according to us. I'm going to get in trouble with other Israelites. No. God put that in place. Give me that. You know what I want? A Hosea chapter 8 verse 4? No, 417. Where he get this from? Where he get this mindset from that, hey, it's unlawful for a man that's a Jew to come to one of another nation? Let's see. All right. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 17. Come on. Ephraim is joined to idols. Ephraim is joined to idols. Read. Let him alone. That was a commandment. That was a commandment from God. Ephraim joined themselves into idolatry. The Lord said, let them alone. The Lord wasn't dealing with the tribe of Ephraim. Read 8 and 4. Say the same thing. Hosea eight chapter four. 8 and verse 4. Come on. They have set up kings, but not by me. Read. They have made princes, and I knew it not. Go ahead. Of their silver and their gold have they made them idols. Read. That they may be cut off. That they what? May be cut off. God cut them off. God cut off the, Eph the tribe of Ephraim and the rest of the northern kingdom. He cut them off. This is why I go back to Acts 10, 28. This is why Peter coming to Cornelius and is telling Cornelius, you know 
How did Cornelius know? Because Cornelius was of the northern kingdom, and he knew the judgment. But Cornelius was faithful, continued to pray to God, continued to pay alms, and continued to be a righteous man to try to uphold the law, although his nation or his people were cut off from God. Right. Read it again. Acts chapter 10 and verse 28. And he said unto them, Ye know how that is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. Because the northern kingdom knew the scriptures. They knew that, hey, we was cut off because of our idolatry. Read. But God hath showed me that I should not call any man. What? Any man. Man. Common or unclean. So he said, but the Lord that gave me the, the understanding and through the vision that he showed me earlier in Acts 10. That I can't treat y'all brothers like that. Y'all, I can't call y'all common or unclean anymore. Skip down to 34. Verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, excuse me. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, uh -huh. of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. God is not a respecter of persons. Read. But in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Go ahead. Verse 36. The word. Which God sent unto the children of Israel. The word was God sent to who? The children of Israel. The children of Israel. Now, why in the world would this um, very intelligent Edomite man here who hates racism and <laughs> teaches the Bible all right. and is all about equality, why would he keep reading the verse 36? Why would he just deliberately use a scripture out of context to make it seem as if God is impartial and that everything that his ancestors did to us, we should forgive. Right. right. Why would he do such a thing? I'll tell you why. Because he's the devil the Bible speaks of. Bring it out. And he don't know the Bible, nor does he want you to know the Bible. Now, we're going to let you get your scripture, but hold on. I want to play something else on that man, video. Play that video real quick. Because he's going to say oh, something else thoughts. stupid. Instead, we are to love our neighbors as ourselves. James chapter 2, verse 8. Pause. In the Old Testament. <laughs> James 1 and 1. I'm sorry. I can't take it. James 1 and 1. We got to shred him to pieces. Because our people is, and when I say shred to pieces, I mean scripturally. The Bible is a sword. Somebody will say, see, he said he wanted to cut that good white man up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't say that. You say how folks do. That's how folks. Right. We know how you think. Right? Is that you got the evil thoughts. You want to try to use stuff against us to say we want to harm somebody. We are not a hate group. Read that. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. Greeting. To the 12 tribes scattered abroad. So who was James 2 and 8 written to? To love your neighbor as yourself. The 12 tribes scattered abroad. Not everybody. They're like you just tried to you. I see, I see your spirit. I, we know the spirit of these nations. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Go back. Play it. Play the video. God divided humanity into two racial groups, Jews and Gentiles. I God's agree with intent you, was for Israelite. the Jews pause, pause to it. be... I agree with him, but it's Israelites and Gentiles, not just the Jews. Go ahead. Kingdom of priests ministering to the Gentile nations. Instead, for the most part, the Jews became proud of their status and despised the Gentiles. Jesus Christ put an end to this, destroying the dividing wall of hostility. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. Pause it. All four they despised the Gentiles of their own people. Right. That's what, See how they tried to use Ephesians 2 to say that they destroyed the wall of hostility? Yeah, Christ destroyed the wall of hostility between northern and southern kingdom. That's right. right. Isaiah 11, 13. Real quick. I had to deal with it. Isaiah 11, 13. The hell is this? The book of Isaiah, chapter 11 and verse 13. Real quick, come on. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart. The envy of Ephraim shall, shall depart. And the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Read. Ephraim shall not envy Judah. Ephraim won't envy Judah anymore. And Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Judah won't vex Ephraim. Right? Vex meaning what? Hatred. They won't continue to hate Ephraim. The hostility was broken down between Judah and Ephraim, not um, the, the Israelites and the rest of the nations. Because Christ, the Most High said, give me that real quick, you know what I want, in Romans 9, 13. Right. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> Boy, I tell you. We were supposed to possess them, but now we we supposed to be their friends. Right. <laughs> that don't make no sense. The That's book not of biblical. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 13. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. 
but Esau have I hated. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God hates a nation of people. That's right. God hates the nation of Esau. That's biblical. I know it hurt Christian spirit. I know you hurting deep down inside because you love Esau. That's your but, interpretation. Right. They said, as I, that's literally say, Jacob, I love Esau, if I hate it. But that's like, no, he don't hate Esau, brother. He hate the ways of Esau. That ain't what that say. What? It says, Esau, have I hated. God didn't leave no room for error in there. He made it plain Hell and no. specific. And he solidifies it in verse 14. Right. Get reading. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Damn. Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> hey, real quick, go back to the video real quick. I just want to just point something out. Because he tried to use that hostility to say um, Israel and the other nations. No, the hostility was between northern and southern kingdom. Right? Go ahead. Forms of racism, prejudice, and discrimination are fronts to the work of Christ on the cross. Jesus commands us to love one another as he loves us. John chapter 13, verse 34. We just read, he don't love you. If God is impartial and loves us with impartiality, then we need to love others with that same high standard. Jesus no teaches sense. in Matthew chapter 25 that whatever we do to the least of his brothers, we do to him. If we treat a person with contempt, we are mistreating a person created in God's image. We are hurting somebody whom God loves and for whom Jesus died. Racism, in varying forms and to various degrees, has been a plague on humanity for thousands of years. It was biblical. Brothers and sisters of all ethnicities, this should not be. Victims of racism, prejudice, and discrimination need to forgive. Paul, Ephesians chapter you see? 4. You see? You see that? He had to slide He lured you to sleep <laughs> with the whole world, the Lord love the world, and you love your neighbor as yourself, and uh, Acts 13, 34, about God being impartial. Then he slipped in there. He said, and those that have been subjected to racism and prejudice and discrimination, you need to forgive. <laughs> this, I'm what? These folks, the devil, man. Damn. Did, did he saw he did all that to love you to sleep. Now you get one more minute before the right. video. And, and as I come to you, I right. practice to say, as I come to a close, right. uh, forgive everybody that did the evil to you. Right. You got a tear in your eye. Right, dude. right, right, right. You up there like, you right, you right. right. Yes, he got the music right. playing in the background right. too. Right. He doing that stuff to love you to sleep. Now he said that we should forgive the nations for what they did against us. No, sir. It don't matter if I say I forgive you for what you did. God don't forgive. Right. God not forgiving them for what it is still a pending judgment. You know how you uh you buy some, but but it's still you go to your you go look at your uh, your your um your uh bank account app right. and it still say pending. Like damn that money came out yet. <laughs> you understand? It's the same way with Esau. Esau got a pending judgment. It's, it's gonna come out when you least expect right. it. Two months uh, later, you right. gonna be like, dang, I ran out of money. And right. They, took the <laughs> they done took the hundred dollars you paid for some months ago. Finally right. came out, took you over the edge. Boy, right. I tell you. So Esau using that to try to justify what his people did. Like I said, it's very ironic and it's very fitting that you can now say things of that nature from your prideful seat. Right. This is why the nations got to be destroyed. Right. This is why the Lord got to destroy the nation. That's right. Right? Because they use things that these, they use these type of uh, videos to lure black people to sleep. To lure you Christian Israelites to sleep. Well, when I say Christian Israelite, you Israelite people that are involved in Christianity. They use that to lure you to sleep, brothers and sisters. It's time to come up out of the sleep, man. The most I'm not forgiving them for what they did. Yeah, I'm going to get one scripture. All right, go ahead. We got time. Yeah, uh, Psalms awesome. 50 and verse 16, man. This, this, this is what the Most High said to these other nations, to the Edomites, to the Moabites. This is what he said. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 16. Yeah. But unto the wicked God saith. But unto who? The wicked God saith. All, all the Edomites out there. Read. Go ahead. What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? He can't declare no statutes. He can't. This ain't his Bible. Right. That's like him getting a, a a black photo album and saying, "See, this all this all my family right here." Right, right, right. It right. ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Read it again. Right. What has thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? He shouldn't even be reading the Bible, right? right. At all. Is that it on that? You won't see. 
Nah, that's it. That's it. Hey, Go ahead. I got, I'm sorry. I'm burning inside. You're going to be Go all right. You knew here. You're a rookie here. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah 3016. <laughs> you a rookie on the show. We'll get back to you. Uh, Give us a second. Jeremiah 3016. I got it because he said that the people that um, have suffered discrimination and racism should forgive those that did it to them. He's, he wants to use Ephesians 4, and he also wants to use Matthew chapter 5, where it says, love your enemies, um, do good to them that despitefully you. That's talking about the enemies of your own people. That's not about talking about the other nations. This right. is what God says judgment is for those nations that did that to his people. Bring Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Bring Come on. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All they that devour the Israelites shall be devoured. You reap the right. benefits of what your forefathers did by devouring the Native American Indians, so-called, the Hispanics, and us, the so-called Southern Kingdom, or the Southern Kingdom, so-called African Americans, and Haitians, and so-called Jamaicans, and West Indians. Read. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. You going into captivity. Bring that. You're not getting away right. with everything that's you right. did to God's people. You're going into captivity. That's his way of that's making right. himself feel better. He hoping them scriptures apply to him. <laughs> no, right. them scriptures apply to us to right. forgive each that's other. Right. That's, <laughs> that's what right. he's trying to do. Right. Because, right. because, because we, we forget often that, like I said, this man's the devil. Right. And, um, um, you know, and it's a blessing, you know, that we have it side up, you know, throughout the most, uh, from the most high. Right. You know, have it side up. You know, escaping the plantation on Monday, right? This is this is music to, to some of our brothers and sisters' ears. Right. You know what I'm saying? Monday, you don't, we don't want to be back at work. Right. You sick of, of Easter already. Right. So you come here Monday Monday evening hear these scriptures, this is like music to your ears. Music. You see what I'm saying? Can I get one scripture to yeah, add Yeah, let me what finish that real quick. Let Go me ahead. finish that. Go ahead. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Uh-huh. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All praises. Go ahead. Go ahead, Austin. Go to Isaiah, Isaiah 9 and God. verse 18. I said 918, just to add on to what you were saying, because at the end of the day, you know, like like leadership bring out all the time, that's Satan, and he he's looking for a high body count. And guess what? He's gonna get it. Right. But for those that are sincere and keeping God's laws, that's why it's so important for us, you know, to strive to, you know, work on our sins and you know, come back to, to our God. That's right. Because we don't want to be part of this. Read that. The Isaiah the 9 verse 18 and 19. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 18. For wickedness burneth as the fire. Read. It shall devour the briars and thorns, uh -huh. and shall kindle in the thickets of the forest. Read. And they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. That's how that's how much Babylon, which is America, is going to burn. That's right. Read. This is the point I want to get to, though. Through the wrath of the Lord. Through the of wrath of the Lord, because he said, forgive everybody. Right, that's right. If we're forgiving everybody and everything all good, what's the purpose of Jesus Christ? Right. What is this scripture talking about then? Right. Read on. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened. So the, America will be darkened. Read. And the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. Who going to fuel the fire? And the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. Damn. Esau and all the other wicked nations and the wicked of our people. They're going to be them chocolate with that frill in America fire. Damn. Read. Finish it no, out. No man shall spare his brother. And ain't nothing they're going to be able to do in that day. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.